Primetime's a big advocate of eating healthy. You know, when you eat well, you feel well, you feel well, you live well. But when you chow down on junk food and sugary drinks, it could lead to high blood pressure, obesity. And now we're finding out it could lead to cancer. A new study by the American Cancer Society claims that cancer cases will shoot up by nearly 80% by the year 2050. A big part of this is due to diet. Startling prediction. Someone should tell Joe Biden, who said he'd stop cancer in its tracks. I promise you, uh, if I'm elected president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes in America. Is we're going to cure cancer. Elect me or I'll... Okay, that's a bold statement. One way to go about it is maybe stop complaining the Snickers bars are shrinking and there aren't enough potato chips in the bag. Grace Price's grandpa died of cancer a few years back. The experience got her thinking, am I next? What can I do to prevent myself from getting cancer? And why do we only treat cancer once we're diagnosed with it? Why don't we take preemptive measures to stop ourselves from getting it in the first place? The answer, money. In the past, the American Cancer Society has accepted a $1.9 million fund from Coca-Cola. This is with the knowledge that the overconsumption of sugar can lead to increased risk of obesity and cancer. The American Heart Association accepts funds from Kellogg's and Coke. The American Diabetes Association accepts funds from Coke. The list goes on. The easiest way to understand why certain products are promoted as healthy is to follow the money. 95% of the 2020 U.S. Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee had a conflict of interest with the big food and big pharma. Now, if you've been watching primetime, you know how bad this junk food stuff is. Grace Price, her documentary shows you the truth. The average American adult consumes around 17 teaspoons of added sugar each day. This is two to three times greater than the healthy amount. The modern killer today is the average American diet. Fruit Loops, granola bars, frappuccinos, ketchup, bagels, chips, Coke, Capri Sun, Twinkies, muffins, Snickers, crackers, pancakes, yogurt, pizza, pasta, Pepsi, and the list goes on. It's time to wage a war against the toxic foods that have silently infiltrated our diets. The choice is yours. Grace Price is the creator of Cancer, a foodborne illness. Grace, are you claiming that high levels of sugar and heavily processed junky food actually leads to possible cancer? Well, Jesse, I can tell you one thing for sure, which is that it's time to call big food out on their sweet lies. We are seeing cancer in huge amounts now in young adults and people who are my age. And as a teen myself, I am not surprised because sugar is the new cigarette for cancer when it comes to my generation. We are the ones buying frappuccinos, snacking on cereals and eating sugar all day and then told to just take Ozempic as a quick fix. It's so wrong. Coca-Cola funds millions to national health organizations like the American Cancer Society to try to convince us that their high fructose corn syrup filled foods are aren't going to make us sick. We know that's not true. And we also know that cancer cells have a massive appetite for sugar. So I am here to fix this. So back in the day, we didn't have these types of levels of cancer diagnosis. We just didn't. It does seem that cancer is really spreading everywhere. More and more people are getting diagnosed all the time. Is it just in your research because of diet or are there other factors? Well, what I can tell you is I decided to go in a deep dive on this and I found that everything aligned with all of the sugar and ultra processed foods that we have been consuming. As cancer rates have been increasing, so have those things, and especially in unprecedented amounts in my generation. Greater than 67% of our diet comes from these ultra processed foods, which are filled with sugar and bad oils that we have studies that show are linked to cancer. What happens when you go and get one of those double frappuccino, espresso, mocha things from Starbucks? And we're not accusing Starbucks of giving everybody cancer. But how much sugar is in that thing? 
I think the last time I checked it was 36 grams, but if I'm being quite honest with you, I never order those. And I'm trying <laughs> to encourage other teens not to. So I'm expanding on to TikTok and other platforms for this. But thank you for having me, Jesse. All right, thank you so much. And everybody go check out her documentary. We appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.